right, you guys, so my hair is soaking wet. I can't see you. This smells really good. It doesn't smell like avocado. It smells like coconut. And this is the consistency. Oh, it's like a shampoo. It's getting everywhere, too, so. Oh, look at that lather. Look at that. Ryan Little. <laughs> You can definitely tell me for someone who typically uses sulfate free shampoo, immediately I can tell that there's sulfates on it and sure enough. And you know, the second ingredient is sodium loretha, sodium loreth sulfate. Third ingredient, sulfate. Yeah. I wanted to turn off the water so you guys can hear what a sulfate. When I say squeaky, you can hear the squeak. like me as far as make sure that you if you are someone who is very thickly about ingredients especially with your cleansing products make sure that you read the first five ingredients the second and third ingredient on the um, shampoo itself this is the shampoo is sulfate now I didn't use a lot but I use too much since it is too much for my hair because I typically don't use a shampoo that has sulfates now with that also being said Now the conditioner, she has some problems too with the ingredients. The, yeah, I can't see, so let me squint one eye. <laughs> Second ingredient, alcohol. Third, alcohol. Fourth, chloride. Fourth, chloride. Glycerin is like the fifth or sixth one. Let's see what she smells like. Doesn't really have a scent. Yeah, it doesn't really. So let's just turn it back on and I'm going to kill this whole bottle. So now I'm getting ready to use the conditioner. And I do want to mention that this does have a very light coconut scent to it. It was very, very pleasant, actually. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that both of these products are paraben and cone free. Okay. Now, this is what my hair looks like in front. I'm sorry, but I had such high hopes for this new collection by VO5 because I am a fan of VO5. I actually use often use their conditioner to help detangle my hair. However, I felt like this particular conditioner you see there, I felt like this product was just sitting on top of my hair. Um, it took quite a bit of time to rinse out both the shampoo and the conditioner to the point where I heard my camera actually stop. I heard it click off and it normally does that at the 20 minute marker. Um, yeah, so that should tell you how long it took to get these products out. But you're gonna see me to continue to rinse out the conditioner. Um, I did not feel like, according to the packaging, it says that it's supposed to leave your hair soft and shiny. And I felt like I needed to do a deep conditioner after rinsing this out of my hair. <laughs> all right so i am done okay <laughs> i'm looking at my hair in the mirror um my hair is frizzy on top i can feel the frizziness can you even can you see that normally when i'm just done i have some definition this is, let me see if I can, this is frizzy. I don't know, see that? Very frizzy, Um, not very, but you know, a lot frizzier than normal. It's a no for me. Um, 
it's a no for me <laughs> this is how i feel i feel like i need to do a moisturizing deep conditioner now um i will say that i typically don't use shampoos that have sulfates however i clearly i reviewed um you know shampoos that have sulfates i've used products that have sulfates i'm not someone that's like yes i'm absolutely sulfate and paraben free no i'm not going to say that because i know that not all of my products are like that with that being said these two products by vo5 it's a no i had high hopes but um the conditioner did not leave didn't leave my hair feeling conditioned heck yes my hair feels clean it feels a little too clean it feels like i need to now go ahead and of course really moisturize my hair if not it's going to be dry especially since the conditioner has drying ingredients so i wanted to love you i really did <laughs> so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching take care Bye.